I'm a white, non-Muslim, not left-wing veteran. And because of my work in the army, I came across certain military tactics and operations called false flag ops, psy ops, and controlled opposition ops. Usually psy ops and false flag ops go together simultaneously and installing a controlled opposition on both sides of the warring fractions. Where in the actual case of the Muslim dilemma, the terrorist attacks are false flag ops by a controlled opposition called the Islamic Caliphate with an emir at the head of it. Both an emir and a caliph are members of the Arabic nobility and direct lineage of Pharaoh called Fir'aun for real Muslims, thus making the Islamic State an enemy of the people and enemy of Islam. Equally present on the other controlled opposition PSYOP is Pharaoh's European aristocracy and their banners like in the logo of Britain first as the royal crown representing Britain's elite who lets all the Muslim in as part of the aristocracy divide and rule policies. The UK flag with pharaonic colors explained in a recent New York interview and the royal lion. But we never had any lions in Europe. We had bears and wolves, no lions. So why a lion and for an animal? Well, a royal coat of arms is always held by two lions. Or a statue of a lion at the gate of an aristocratic castle. And before, the lion was a symbol for the pharaonic dignity, like the Sphinx. It says, rule Britannia. Well, who rules Britannia? Who always did? The people? Oh, the crown. Fleur de Lis, Templar symbol. The crown has always did, has always done. And that symbol is the lion. It's an aristocratic lion. And this flag is pharaonic. So therefore, all the three symbols in the Britain First logo represent Pharaoh's nobility and not the British people. Just as all the Templars flags who were made up of aristocrats, the Templar boys that is, where the Europeans did the fighting for them, as usual. Here they both give the Templars V secret symbol like V for victory of Churchill and it means victory for the Templars and the aristocrats and death to the Europeans. Jada Franson and Paul Golding give Freemason secret hand signs all the time and are too, God, too good orators for being simple Cockney Londoners. Hey, you see, they do it all the time, both of them, here. And this is the octagon of the Templars. See the video, Octagon, the Empire of Darkness. I put it in the description, both of them. I think she will do it as well again here. That's what orators do with all their, you know, the crown, the lion. It's all, it's the fleur de lis in it here. It's, it's aristocratic. It has nothing to do with Europe or the Europeans. They just want to lure us into another war. Yeah, you can see it one more time here. They're, they're doing it all the time, all over. All these politicians, Freemasons, the enemy within, they all do it. Trump is doing it. They all do it, you know. They're, they're just part of the bunch. You know, look, they're all doing it. This is their friend Donald here. He's doing it. You know, it's all one bunch. And they're the same ones who invited all the Muslims in the same place. And now they want to create a war with them. It's all part of the uh, agenda. They all do it, folks. Open up your eyes. It became known as the Merkel hand sign. Here you go. There it is, the Merkel hand sign. Hey, Britain first. And don't play with super glue, Jada. Neither do you, Paul. Don't play at all. 
Look, they all do it here. You know this one, eh? It's a thing of the enemy within. They are. They have to do it or something, or it's a hand sign. They all do it, including Britain first. So they are not representing the people. It's like a chess game. They're already 10 moves ahead, and you don't know it. Well, ask Britain first why they and their pals, yeah, they, they are their pals, why they do it. And look, they all do it. This guy is even supposed to be a Muslim. So the Muslim, they have the same problems with their sort of Mason leaders, who are not real Muslims, they have the same problems as we have. So we have to team up, folks, and then we can fight each other afterwards, if we still want to, but not before. A war, you have to think, you know, cold, not emotionally, because we're going to lose it. They know, they know us better with all the psychological analysis they've been doing, then we know ourselves. They know us much better. So don't be, don't get emotionally, you know, terrorist attacks, well, it's all false flag. Don't get emotional, but stay cold and use your mind, use your brain. Otherwise you're gonna lose this war. We're all gonna lose it. Yeah, look, even he did it, yeah. And what did the Nazis do to Europe? Well, they destroyed Europe and they killed the Europeans. Same as Britain first once. Watch this channel, you're gonna like it. Yeah, one more time, they're doing it all the time. You know, the super glue thing. The crown, the lion, the pharaonic collars. This is the enemy within. This is the fairistocracy. Watch the film, fairistocracy. And again, here, yeah, all the time, it says deputy leader. You know what the word leader in German is? The Führer. That's the exact translation for the word leader or deputy leader. The Führer. And it says a deputy leader uh, the German word is Unterschaffer. It's an SS rank. Deputy leader Jada Franzen, eh? So that you could say Unterschaffer Jada Franzen. So, and here you can see what a deputy leader, what he looks like in the SS. Yeah. Unterschaffer. Deputy leader in Britain first. Britain first claim to be Christians who indirectly say that God created Adam and Steve by implying that the Holy Bible is wrong by comforting, protecting and sheltering any possible homosexual offspring. Therefore, Britain first are fake Christians, showing the logos of that foreign aristocratic power that had always terrorized Europeans, Muslims, and Jews, showing their satanic hand signals. If you read this book, The Pink Swastika, you will understand why Britain first defends LGBT homos. Because most likely they have many of them amongst their ranks, which is real Nazi tradition. And the worldwide pink swastika wants to go and kill Muslims, just as they killed the Jews. Because in Islam, there is no Adam and Steve. Here, another pink swastika and deputy leader, Unterschafuhr, who love to be amongst the tough-looking fascist paramilitary, rubbing their muscles together, getting a stiff one like Hitler raising his arm, just by seeing some masculine hate tattoos. And here, another queer deputy leader and second-in-command of the huge French Front National and close family with Britain first. Deputy leader Florian Filippo is openly a pink swastika living with his, hu his husband or a husband. Fantastic! 
Adam and Steve all over the pink swastika, murdering the patriarchy for Pharaoh's nobility and their crown lion logo of Britain first. It was the pharaonic aristocratic elite who invited all these Muslims in, perfectly knowing to import the Muslim Bajabaz, and again from the Islamic aristocracy, dressing a young boy up in girls' clothes, make him dance and collectively rape the child. An aristocratic tradition of Pharaoh, Firaun, by sheikhs, emirs and caliphs, now widespread under the local population of Pakistan and Afghanistan. While their counterpart, the British elite establishment of the nobility, House of Lords, perfectly knew what they deliberately imported. Even court-martialing British and US Special Forces members who tried to interfere and save the children out of the hands of Pharaoh's elite aristocratic pedophiles who call themselves Muslims, but in fact they are not. They are Pharaohs, aristocrats, sultans, emir, caliph. Just as the ones in Europe who call themselves Christians and proclaim that homosexuality is normal. Hey Jada, hey Paul. Dear people, please don't believe that your buddhika here, uh, buddhika, really has a problem with these Romans, the Romans. Hitler too was arrested, which is just a part of the entire scam, to make us believe they are victims of that unjust left-wing system, so people will accept the next total control and times Patriot Act. Ah, you don't know Boudicca? Well, this one really fought the Romans, had real red hair, and this one really existed. She was not a scam. Watch these videos here for further proofs about the enemy within with their castles, their parliaments, their authorities, courts, and their pharaonic armies. Don't do their wars anymore. Watch this video too. Here, the New York interview from November 22nd, uh, 27th, 2017, and broadcasted from the Empire State Building, explaining the pharaonic colors of the UK flag and United Kingdom of Pharaoh. I put in the links for you. We need the real Boudicca to fight these Romans in their uniforms and octagon badges. Because mankind has one enemy in common. The aristocracy of Pharaoh, Firaun. So unite all peoples, races and religions, Muslims and Europeans. All other ways we lose.